Hey, what's up guys? Um, Cal Vault here. Um, kind of running out of content for you guys, so I figured I would just do a really quick cowl update, the ones in the collection, just a really quick pan around of the cowls, um, real quick into each one. Um, some of them are going to be upgraded in the future, some of them are just placeholders, um, but I'm happy with the collection so far. I haven't really been seeking out any new ones. Oh, and I got the Funko Pop wall back there. That's kind of cool. Um, anyways, so yeah, just a really quick rundown of the collection. And that'll be today's video. So leave suggestions for more videos down below. Um, I actually can't work on the, the Batman cowl 3D print yet because it's now winter outside here. It has snowed everywhere. And if you guys know anything about primers and sand and all that stuff, it doesn't cure properly outside. So I would literally be making more work for myself. If I was out there priming and sanding, it would just not cure properly and I'd probably end up ruining the print. So that's probably on hold until all the snow goes away. Um, so yeah, enough of me talking. Just a really quick video of all the cowls. So let's go. All right, first up, not a cowl, but definitely one of the coolest things in my collection is my life-size 89 Keaton. He just stands here with my Billy Puppet. Um, he's still not complete, like, he's basically, you know, complete, but I still have not tracked down marine vinyl for his boots. Um, this isn't going to light properly, but they've just got stand-in fabric right now, so eventually I can actually finish his boots properly, but... There's Keaton. And you guys have already seen the breakdown of how he's comprised and how he's built and stuff. So there he is. And now let's go on to the cowls. All right, so here's the first shelf. Um, as you can see, I ran out of paper towel holders. I can't find them anywhere anymore. I used to get them all at Dollarama for like two bucks. They stopped selling the big ones, so I can only get the small ones now. Which is why I've got that ugly plunger right there. That'll be replaced eventually when I find something that I can use as a stand. Because I'm literally out of stands. Um, so let's just start from this side here. We've got the, the Batsmith Justice League. Let's see if I turn on the... There we go. It's a little bit better. So we uh, got the Batsmith Justice League here. We've got the Fanatic Effects, um, Dark Knight Returns. This was 3D modeled by Art Divine on Instagram. And it's just uh, printed by um, Fanatic Effects and molded. And it's a really, really nice piece. Here we got the Big Head Keaton. As you can see, there's a lot of flaking on this. This was pre-owned. So this is made by Artsy1. And uh, somebody who had bought this heavily plasti dipped it and all the plasti dip is ripping off because they didn't do it properly so I need to repaint this one day I just haven't gotten around to it but this is the uh, big head version and then down here we've got the fanatic effects flashpoint nice piece but way too big to wear but it looks nice on display all right moving over we got like the TV here and some of my statues, but we're just interested in the cowls today. So here we have the Batman Forever Sonar Cowl. It's got that really nice metallic shine on it. This one is made by um, Jamie over at Iconic Effects. Really nice piece. And I really, like, I just, I, I love the, the shimmer on it. Like, as the light hits it, it just, like, shines and glistens. He's a master at painting urethane, so. If you guys are in the market for a sonar, I definitely recommend Jamie over at Iconic Effects. And there's my flashlight. There's me. <laughs> here we got the Donna Justice. This one here is made by The Rocketeer. I got this secondhand on eBay for about 100 bucks. It's not the most accurate version on the market, but this is the cowl that actually got me into cowl collecting. I saw a review of this on YouTube, and that was when I realized that people made this stuff and actually started collecting it. So, 
Not the most accurate, but this is the one that will stay in my collection just because of its sentimental value. Oh yeah, there it is, the Rocketeer Donna Justice. All right, moving up. We've got the Batman Forever main cowl. This one here is the version one by Fanatic Effects. He now offers a version two, which is a larger head size, so you can actually wear it. This one here is way too small to ever put on your head. It's about a 22 inch head, so really nice piece. This one here is uh, 3D scanned from the one that was offered by Hollywood Collectibles, the resin one-to-one -one scale pieces. But this one is made of urethane, so you can wear it, theoretically. But it's uh, really, really, really small. But there it is, the Batman Forever main cowl. Here we have the Artsy One commemorative 25-year returns. So I already did a review of this. This is my latest piece in the collection. I did a trade with uh, Paul Roberts. I sent him a real deal returns that had some damage for his commemorative piece. So... To make it a commemorative, this is literally his original sculpt that's just been remolded. So it's a little bit smaller, but it uh, it's a really nice piece, hand sculpted. And the only inaccuracy about it is just those extra points in the ears, as you can see there. They do have these extra points that go up, and this is supposed to be flat. But other than that, the entire thing is immaculate. Alright, moving along, we've got... The Ice Cowl from Batman and Robin. This one is also made by Fanatic Effects. Um, mine is has one inaccuracy though. I trimmed off the tusks on mine because there was an air bubble here and it was really unflattering to look at so I just kind of trimmed them off. So that's the only really inaccuracy about this version. Um, this also has the extra details on the back that are not present on the Val Kilmer sonar version, which makes this the George Clooney ice version, because there were some different details on the back. And this was hand-painted by me, so... I requested it in this dark blue, and I did all the silver sections by hand with a painting method that I know of for painting urethane. If you'd like to know that method, just private message me. I don't want to share it publicly because... I don't want to give away any secrets. So there is the ice cowl worn by George Clooney. Then moving down, we've got the Dark Knight and Dark Knight Returns cowl. Um, I am in search of a neck piece. If anyone knows of a cheap one that I can acquire, that'd be great. Um, with the netting portion on the neck intact in the urethane. I don't want a separate netting piece. I just want one seamless piece that I can add to this display. So if anyone knows of somebody that offers that, please let me know. This one here is made by Fanatic Effects. Really nice piece. Moving over, we got the Injustice 2 cowl, also made by Fanatic Effects. That's one of my favorite pieces in the collection. It's one of my favorite looks for the character, so... That was a no-brainer to have. Moving down, we got the Adam West cowl. This one here is made by Mattel. Um, it's just been repainted. You can see where the nose actually used to be because it was stitched on permanently, but I've just painted over it and put the eyebrows and the nose portion a little bit more accurate to where they are in the show. But there it is, the Adam West. All right, moving down here. We have the Hernandez Sculpture EFX um, Origins, Batman Arkham Origins cowl. Um, not the most accurate version, because this one was actually sculpted on a client's life cast. So it's a little weird looking, but I still really like it. And I got it second hand for only like 100 bucks, so can't go wrong. Texture on it is really nice too. So there's that one. And then here we have the... Arkham Knight cowl. This one is, you can find this on eBay. Um, it's made of something called elasticity rubber. And uh, I don't exactly know what that is, but the closest thing I can compare it to is like really thick EVA foam. That's how it, that's like what it feels like and like the stiffness, uh, the stiffness of it and stuff. But nice piece, not my favorite cowl. So I didn't mind spending only like $30 on it, but it's a nice piece for only 30 bucks. Moving up, 
Oh, and I, I don't know the maker because it was just an eBay purchase. So I, I don't know the maker of that one. So moving up, we got Batgirl from Arkham Knight. This one is made by Fanatic FX as well. Really nice piece. One of my favorite looks for Barbara Gordon in any medium was the Arkham Knight skin. that just looked awesome, so that was a no-brainer. I had to have that one. That was one of the like holy grails for my collection, and Selman over at Fanatic FX just sent it to me because um, he's just a really nice guy. Most of the stuff, I'd say like maybe 50% of the stuff in my collection that's from Fanatic, I just got for free. Either I did like art for him and I got a cowl in exchange, or he just kind of sent them to me because I review them and give him a lot of um, customers. So if anyone's wondering why I keep getting free stuff from Fanatic, it's because literally I just plug him all the time and I've got lots of business for him. So there's that one. Uh, here we have the uh, Batman Beyond also by Fanatic FX. This one looks a little weird only because this was when Fanatic was still kind of realizing how to paint and stuff, so he actually cast this in urethane, which everyone knows nothing sticks to urethane, but he plasti dipped it. So all the plasti dip was peeling off, so I literally just sanded the whole thing to get all the plasti dip off, and it left this weird look, but I don't really mind. It's a nice piece. It's an original design. Um, looks a lot like the cartoon, but very like modern, so that's a nice piece right there. Moving up, we've got the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman cowl from Batman Returns. This one was hand sculpted by Selman over at Fanatic Effects. And I think it's the most accurate um, interpretation of the Michelle Pfeiffer cowl on the market. Especially for being hand sculpted, like it looks really, really good. It's got the asymmetry in the eyes. All the stitching is where it's supposed to be. The shine finish on it is really nice too, like it's really shiny. That's probably one of the, like, if, if you're going to get anything from Fanatic Effects and you're on the fence, that piece is, like, a must-get. So, there's that one. Here is the 1970s Catwoman, also by Fanatic Effects. I requested mine in this, like, light purple, just like the comics. Really nice piece as well. All right, moving up. We've got, this one here is just a placeholder. This is the George Clooney main Batman Robin cowl. Just a placeholder for now. Um, this one's also made by, uh, made by Fanatic Effects, but you can see it's very ugly looking. And it's because it was one of the very first pieces that Selman ever made. So he was still unsure of how to mold properly and stuff. So his mold was a little damaged and he still cast into it. So each version comes out a little wonky, but I do believe that he's planning to upgrade this in the future. He's actually in the process of upgrading like all the ones he offers right now. But it's still a nice piece, and it's just a placeholder for now. Eventually I'm going to get rid of it and get a better version. Alright, here we got another one by Fanatic. This is from the Bob Dullum molds um, of the Batman Begins cowl. I actually prefer this one over the Dark Knight. Really nice piece. Again, also from Fanatic Effects. Another piece by Fanatic Effects is the Tactical Ben Affleck Justice League cowl. Um, I requested mine in like a gunmetal gray because the one in the movie is kind of like an off black gunmetal color. So I didn't want like a straight black cowl. I wanted it to look a little bit different than the rest of them. So this one was cast in a gunmetal gray. And then I did all the bronze and the metallic silver on those portions myself. Again, with that painting method. This one is a 3D scan of the one offered by... I um, uh, can't remember what it's called. It's called the Prop Shop or something. I can't remember. But it's just a 3D scan of that one. Really nice piece. And then last but not least, we have the Arkham Cowl, sculpted by Hernandez Effects and cast up by Gauntlet Effects. This was hand sculpted, obviously, by Hernandez. 
and then he sent the mold off to Gauntlet, and Gauntlet offers castings as well as Hernandez. So you can get this from either one of those sellers. Um, I just went with Gauntlet because he's Canadian and I didn't have to pay for shipping. Um, I live in like the Calgary area and he lives in Edmonton, so it's only like three hours or something like that. So it was free shipping, so I picked that one up. Really nice piece. And then here we got the Fanatic FX version one of the Robert Pattinson 2021 The Batman Cowl. He actually offers a version two now, which is up on his shop that has all like the neck detail and stuff and also the neck collar I believe is attached to the cowl. This one was his version one just based off of the stunt double images that had come out really early. Still got really close though, like this looks really really good. But uh, the version two I'm planning on upgrading because this one is amazing but his version two just looks so accurate so. So like nice look at the stitching detail and stuff on this one. It's really nice. And then here's the last one in the collection. This is the referred to as the uh, Kevin Conroy tribute cowl. Hand sculpted by Selman over at Fanatic FX. So he actually offers these as light up bus. Um, they are made of urethane as you can see. But uh, he offers these with the mouth uh, the mouth portion painted, the eyes are trimmed out with LED lights. So it's like a bust, but I just wanted mine in all black, kind of like a patina statue or something. I don't know. It looks nice. But yeah, there it is, guys. All of my cowls. I've also got this really cool looking Catwoman thing here too. So um, that's it. That's going to do it for the video guys. Just a really quick like collection update of the cowls. Um, I do have other things like my Michael Myers masks and stuff. But I kind of stay away from the Michael Myers stuff now. Because um, I got so much hate when I was making videos back then. Because I just I didn't have any of the information, so I kind of stay away from Michael Myers, I stay away from Star Wars, just kind of stay in my lane. Because I know a lot more about Batman, and I can actually provide some information about Batman. And um, I'm not just you know driving blind pretty much um, with the information that I'm giving you guys. So that's why I just kind of primarily stay with Batman now. And the channel name had changed to the Cowl Vault because it's where I keep all my cowls. Um. So yeah. Um. As it stands right now, I'm planning on getting an upgrade for the Robert Pattinson, the version 2 offered by Fanatic, and I don't really have any more plans for cowls for a little while, um, maybe after Halloween, because Gauntlet FX is going to be re-releasing his Neil Adams cowl, which I'm planning on getting in blue and then doing all the black um, like uh, shadow lines with the painting method that I know. Um, and then other than that, I don't really have any more plans for cowls. Um, if one, you know, piques my interest, I'm, 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 I'm obviously going to get it. But for right now, there's none really on my bucket list. Um, I'm kind of happy with the ones I have. Right now, I'd just like to display them a little bit better. So eventually, I'd like to get better shelving or put some wall shelves in or something just to display them a little bit nicer. But as it stands, that's the collection. I'm happy with it. Um, some pieces will be... Um, upgraded like the Pattinson and then eventually I'm going to upgrade the Clooney because it's uh, a little damaged for my liking but uh, yeah thanks for joining me today guys and please um, as I previously mentioned at the beginning of the video if you guys have any ideas for future content leave them down below I'm drawing a blank like I'm having a hard time coming up with ideas lately so um, let me know what you guys would like to see and I'll do my best to provide that content so um, I'm Jaden, this is the Cowl Vault, and until next time, peace out, and be good people.